Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 60 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Looks like Fia has something to say. Oh yes, I remember this scene. So there's a certain husband and wife who live in the castle. Today, one of them is giving birth. Okay, Fia is coaching the mother as she's doing her business. This is how you breathe. Okay, great. And apparently Eo is here to watch. She says she sees the head coming out. Yeah, so... And Mikayu is here to cheer as well. <laughs> that last one sounded rather bad. All right, I think it came out alive. Okay, if he asks Avaro to bring the bath over. Yeah, got it. So we do this. So we start by wiping it off. Fia says she, it's all clean. See here, this is your baby. I'm glad Fia is here to tell people these things. Well, that's what Fia and the mother are doing. The father is apparently just puttering around being nervous and stuff. Mom says that he has his eyes. He says that the baby has her mouth. Yeah, they're pretty similar. She sure as hell doesn't have her. He sure as hell doesn't have her eyes. Oh man, she's a really cute. Or no, he's really small. Eol apparently decided to poke it and got her finger caught. Mikio apparently doesn't know the babies can grab things right out of the womb. So she, that's kind of amazing to her. Yeah, these two probably haven't had a lot of experience with babies. Well, help. Fia and Navarro probably don't either. Well, Fia might have. She just doesn't remember it. So, this is the first child born in Gualacuna Castle. Isn't that great? Yeah. She says it's a kind of a mysterious feeling for there to be a baby who was born inside her body. Again with her body. Well, that's the, quite the expression. Does that mean you're kind of like this child's mother? But she's a goddess, you know. She's like everybody's mother. Kind of thing. Hmm, that seems a bit excessive. Yeah, actually, I've always thinking to himself. He doesn't want a mother figure as his lover. Mikio counsels the mother to take it easy because the childbirth took a lot of power out of her. And she says we need to get some clothes on the baby because like this it'll get cold. Yeah, she doesn't know baby anatomy. Ah, Eel's going to make some food for her. 
for him. Okay, Mikio does know that normal food isn't good for babies, though. So the two of them kind of running around being excited. And the couple just smiles happily. Oh, Fia's having some doubts. So she's wondering if it's really okay to be headed for the God's Haze like this. What's up, Fia? Well, you see, dangerous things might happen if we continue heading north. And in that case, this child, and probably the rest of Garal Arcuna, will end up with some pretty bad memories. Well, seeing a child born, well, helping to birth the child here, she's gotten a bit of sense of responsibility out of it. Huh. Well, it is true that the people living on the castle get drawn into our problems, but they would also have problems, this child as well, if they were leaving. At the very least, as long as they're here, we'll do our best to protect them. Yeah. Keep being an idiot, Fia. It's be you're better that way. Anyway, the person who speaks to Fia now is the mother. Fia san, this So she asks Fia to give this child a name. And apparently, Japanese has a term for the parent who names the child. They're kind of a godfather sort of thing, maybe? <laughs> oh, she's surprised. Is that really alright? Yeah, it's alright. Because receiving a name from a goddess is a hell of an honor. Oh, I know. We can name it after the castle. In honor of Guadalacuna Castle, we'll call him Guacamole. And furthermore, this child will certainly come to like Fia. Hey. Because you're the protecting god of the castle. Well, kind of. She phrases it like she is a protection god of everyone in the castle. Well, the castle is her body, but she hasn't specifically been called a protection god. Ah, anyway, she says, no, she's not like that. Exactly. Dad chalks in. Okay, everybody, thanks for coming here and helping. So, to this child, this place is home. And since everybody lives in this hometown with them, we're kind of like family. So, since we've got this wonderful experience that's happened, we shouldn't talk about what may or may not happen in the future. So it'll be alright. No matter what happens, he and she will protect this child. Well, yeah, this is really a bad time for Fia to be getting down. And anyway, the people on the castle aren't here by force. They could choose to leave. 
I mean, these two who gave birth here included. So everybody's here because they're supporting Thea, after a fashion. And today especially we should be celebrating. So that's how it is. Let's take today to celebrate the birth and enjoy ourselves, hmm? Yeah, because such a moving experience has happened today, she really can't stay down. Alright, so since they're counting on her for a name, she's going to pick a really good one. I picked a good one for him. And I mean, it's not like we're ever going to see this couple and baby again. Alright, so it's a banquet. Since it's a good day to commemorate, Everybody's going to take the day off and drink and sing and stuff. Eel's gonna make some kind of food that the baby can eat. And Mikio's gonna go around telling everybody about it. Uh, no, no, no. Shouldn't we just kind of keep this to the people who are blood relatives and all? Ah, uh, but Avaro's was too late with that. Well, whatever, of all things to himself. Hey, it works for us. Now... I have something on my shopping list. Like, Shut up, shopkeeper. It's rather hard to get a lot of stone in this game. Especially high quality stone, which I need for this item here. Anything else I can build today? Mostly just this. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. Oh, red houses. Yes. I'm really looking forward to getting more red houses. And I guess I'll talk about all the other houses we can make. I already got enough gray houses to buff my physical resistance. But if I could make enough of the other colors, each of them could buff one of my elemental resistances. I mean, if I could place all of them. You know, I'm looking forward to red because I looked up the formation it makes. It's the thrusting formation which adds to my attack. Yes. And I'm really going to enjoy that. Oh yes, what we built was a kind of sounding pillar. We're still worried about that thing in the ruins that we destroyed that Theo really didn't like. So we figured we might find something else like it inside the castle, but we need because the castle floats up in the air, the magic flows are a bit different than they are on the ground, so we need something to ground our senses, or ground the magic. It's a bit ambiguous. And for that purpose we have this magic steel pillar. Okay, works for me. So once we've made this, we can explore a new map inside the castle. So, actually I'm going to cut here. I'd like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time.